everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing over 60 fragrances from five different companies but before we get into that i wanted to tell you guys that my channel has officially been monetized which means i'll be able to devote more time to my channel and we'll be able to invest in new supplies materials and products bringing you new and better tutorials and reviews with that being said, I want to give a huge thank you to each and every one of you that has either subscribed to my channel or watched my videos. I owe it all to you guys because 100% I could not have done this without you. I absolutely appreciate all of you. So once again, thank you so much. One last thing before I begin, I want to let you know I am in no way affiliated or linked uh, to any of these fragrance companies or any other fragrance company. This is just my honest opinion of the oils that I have ordered since I started making freshies. First group of oils is from Sentimental Gifts. You can see their website listed there on the bottle. First fragrance I have here is Lavender. This was not an essential oil type scent. This was definitely a sweeter lavender that you would expect to get in a lavender scented candle. I did really like this one. Um, if you're ordering from this company and you're looking for a lavender, this would be one of my recommendations. Next, we have Bump and Grind. This is a very popular fragrance for car freshies. It is super strong, one of the strongest oils that I have gotten so far. It is a punch type smell, so think um, high C Hawaiian punch. That's what I would describe this one as. Next up, we have Black Frost. This is a duplicate or a copycat of the Little Trees Black Ice. It is a more masculine scent. It is one of the stronger ones, and it is super popular as well for car freshies because those little, the Little Tree air fresheners are popular as well. So a lot of people look for this particular fragrance, and this company offers a good one. Here we have a vanilla. This one, um, it was okay. I don't think it was super strong, but for me, I was looking for a more natural vanilla fragrance, and this one is, in my opinion, more of the generic or overly sweet, uh, phony kind of vanilla scent. Not my favorite. It's not terrible, but um, I definitely have one later that I will be talking about that I prefer over this particular one. This one is called Aquadigio. So for those of you that don't know, if you're searching for fragrances and you see the word type after the fragrance name, that is an indication that it is a duplicate of another company. It could be a candle company. It could be a fragrance company as far as like designer fragrance company, something along those lines. If it says type, it means it's a duplicate of something, um, something else. So this one is a duplicate of an Armani cologne men's cologne it is a sweeter male fragrance and this company's version of it is pretty close to the original and it did have a nice strong scent if you're looking for this particular fragrance i would suggest this company this one is leather and lace you'll see this one a lot with car freshies so it is a leather and vanilla blend it is a little bit of a softer fragrance. I wouldn't say weak or light, but softer. It definitely, from this company, had a lasting strength and I really liked the way that it smelled. Moving on to the next company would be Wellington Fragrance. You can see their website as well on their bottle. First one I have here is just a straight leather. It does smell um, very much like genuine leather. It's not a fake leather scent. I like the way it smelled but with leather just leather by itself it can tend to be on the light side it doesn't seem to last as long it doesn't seem to be as strong i'm not sure why but i've ordered from two different companies and they are both very similar and i've heard a lot of people complain that they have a hard time finding a strong leather scent and i have not yet found one either but if you are just looking for the fragrance alone to have a nice leather fragrance this one did have that next we have romance you'll see here that it says type 
That means it is a duplicate. It is a originally a Ralph Lauren perfume and it's actually the perfume that I wear. So when I saw it, I of course had to try it out. This one, this fragrance is very strong. It is a very perfume type scent. It's more on the floral side and it lasted a really long time. But like I said, for some people, they don't like a really heavy perfume fragrance. Um, I particularly do. So this one to me, in my personal opinion, was a great fragrance, but it may not be for everyone. Here we have Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. It doesn't say Fierce in the bottle, but that is the fragrance it's supposed to be duplicating. I'm not sure why it's not written on there. It is a popular male fragrance for car freshies. You can get it from several different companies. This company in particular, I was very pleased with the with the oil. It was strong, it lasted a long time. I don't know what the original fragrance smells like, so I can't say whether or not it's spot on or how close it is to the original, but I would recommend this one if you're looking for Fierce by Abercrombie and Fitch. Next, we have Cotton Candy. This one smelled just like I had hoped it would. I was surprised to find though that it was stronger than I was expecting. So if you're looking for a Cotton Candy fragrance, I would recommend this one from Wellington Fragrance. This one is Cool Water. It is a duplicate of the Cologne. I have ordered this from two different companies and I definitely prefer this one over the other one, which I will be talking about later it's from Lone Star. This one smelled more um, authentic to the original fragrance. They both have the same similar uh, strength, but this one just smelled more like the original to me. So here's the second vanilla that I had tried. Originally, the first one I got was from the first company, Sentimental Gifts, and I said it smelled very generic or phony. And this one from Wellington Fragrance had that more natural vanilla scent, a warmer, softer, not overly sweet. So if you're looking for vanilla, I would recommend this one. Next set of oils that I will be going over are from Lone Star Candle Supply. Their website doesn't look like they're listed on the bottle here, but I will put it down in the description box below, as well as some other information I'll be putting there. This is their version of leather, and like I said before, it has a genuine leather smell, just like the first one that I tried. Um, still very light. You can use it. I have kind of pulled back from using just plain leather unless it's requested because I feel like it just doesn't have that lasting power that I would like to see in my car freshies. This one I have here is called Diva. It has type next to it because it is a Tyler Candle Company duplicate scent. So a lot of people use this, they buy the candles or um, Tyler Candle Company also sells laundry detergent and other things with this fragrance. It is very popular in my particular area. Um, it is a, I would say a clean scent. It's not fruity, not really sweet. It's, it's definitely just a clean fragrance and is pretty popular like I said maybe just in my area so it's may not be for everyone but this is a great duplicate if you're looking for this particular fragrance which I can say right now not too many fragrance companies offer this one it's a little bit harder to find so I was happy to see that Lone Star carried it and if you're looking for it I would recommend this one if you've never tried it maybe buy a sample first to see if you like it because like I said, I don't think it's for everyone. Here we have Sweet Grace. This is a duplicate of a Bridgewater Candle Company fragrance. It's one of their most popular fragrances. I had never heard of it before ordering it from Lone Star and it shot to the top of my list once I smelled it. I love this fragrance. I put it everywhere in my house. It's once again, just like the Diva, I would say it's not a one size fits all fragrance. Some people probably are not going to like it. Um, it's, it's difficult to describe. I would say it is a warm, clean, 
feminine type smell. It's, it's warmer than I expected by the picture or by the description. It has a very rich, deep fragrance to it. Once again, if you're curious about it, definitely order a sample first before going into a big bottle because I'm just not sure if this is a for everyone fragrance, but one of my personal faves. This one is Baja Cactus Blossom, another really popular fragrance for car freshies. It is a Bath and Body Works duplicate. Um, it's a little hard to describe. I would say it's slightly sweet, clean, crisp, a um, little bit of a organic or earthy tone to it, something very natural in the background. Super popular, all around pleasant smell. This is one, unlike the Diva or the Sweet Grace, I don't see many people not liking this fragrance. It is a very neutral, pleasant scent. So I would definitely recommend this one, but, and I will be going over later because I've bought it from a couple of different companies. I will say right now that I definitely prefer Lone Star Candle Supplies version of this fragrance. I have tried three so far, and for me personally, this is my top choice. Here is Love Spell. This is a Victoria's Secret duplicate, one of their perfumes. And I didn't know at the time when I ordered this that I had any idea what it smelled like. But once I got it and I opened it up, it brought back a whole lot of memories. It was actually a perfume that I did use that I completely forgot about. So with that being said, I will say that this hits pretty spot on to the original fragrance. And it is a very sweet, um, slightly floral scent. It's very girly, very feminine. And this one from Lone Star Candle definitely had a really nice strength to it. This one's called Nordic Spa. I bought this one because of the description listed on the website. I was looking for a coastal, breezy type, clean, um, almost therapeutic type fragrance. So I thought this one was gonna be perfect and I got it and was super disappointed. I do not like this smell at all. I have to keep in mind that this is a candle company, so maybe for candles or for soaps, this fragrance would actually be very nice. But for me personally, I would never put this in my car. I don't think anyone else would put it in their car. It just doesn't fit. It would make your car smell like a bathtub. Um, honestly, I think it's like unscented Epsom salt is kind of like what I get from it. So for me, not a favorite, not even something that I will be using in the future unless I get into soap making or making candles and then maybe I'll come back to this one and see if it strikes me differently. But personally, I do not recommend this one for car freshies. I will say, however, though, that the fragrance is very strong. So there is that. So if you're into candle making or into soap making, then maybe try this one out. But as far as car freshies go, not one of my recommendations. This one is called Butt Naked. This is a popular fragrance for car freshies. I don't get it. I do not like this scent. I know a lot of people do. Most people really like this fragrance. It's just not for me. I had to actually go look up the description to kind of get an idea of what I was smelling because I couldn't pinpoint anything. But it is a fruity slash floral slash vanilla fragrance. So mixing all of those together, I just don't think it works. But due to the popularity of it, I do have to say that this would be a recommendation because you will have a demand for it. A lot of people know this fragrance and so they request it. But so it's like a melon. I pick up melon and maybe like some flowers and then like vanilla. It's just weird to me. I don't like it. But this one from Lone Star has a great strength and I haven't tried it from anywhere else because once I tried it, I didn't really want to try it again. But 
this one I would, I would recommend if you're looking for this fragrance. Here is just a coconut. I was looking for plain coconut fragrance oil. This was not what I was looking for. This had a more generic or cheap type coconut fragrance to it. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how to describe it. It's not awful. It doesn't stink, but it just wasn't exactly what I was going for. So not my personal favorite. There are definitely others that I would recommend over this one. So here is Lone Star's version of Cool Water, the men's cologne. I did order it from Wellington. You saw that earlier. This one's not bad. It doesn't have a bad fragrance to it. It has a nice strength. It just didn't hit as close to the original as the one from Wellington. So out of these two, I definitely prefer Wellington's Cool Water over Lone Star's. But if you're ordering from Lone Star and you want this particular fragrance, I would not discourage you from ordering from them. Here is another weird one for me. This one is called Monkey Farts, and I would put this in the same category as the Butt Naked as far as it's just not for me. It is also very popular. A lot of people request it. A lot of people really like it. I just don't care for this fragrance. I don't. It's heavy on the banana, but not like a great banana scent. I, I love the fragrance, the banana fragrance, but it gets lost in this one with a lot of other fruity scents that I just don't think mesh well together, not for my nose at least. But if you are looking for a fruity fragrance that's going to be popular and it's going to be strong and last a while. This one, Monkey Farts from Lone Star, you can get it from lots of other companies. I have only tried it from this one and another one, and I'll discuss that later. But, and out of the two that I've ordered, I would definitely say Lone Star would be, if I was ever gonna order it again, Lone Star is the company I would order it from. This one's called Princess Jasmine. It is a very floral fragrance. And when I say that, I mean it is like smelling fresh flowers. So if you like really strong, genuine floral fragrances, this would be a good one. I don't personally care for it. I don't really have a nose for floral. And it's because this one doesn't have any undertones, like sweet undertones or anything of that nature, it's just straight flowers. Uh, it's definitely one that I, I'm probably not going to be using it. It's probably better suited for candles or for soap, not so much for car freshies. This one is cinnamon vanilla. This is a really pretty fragrance, but unfortunately, like I just received it and I'm not going to be able to use it because it's definitely something that's not going to sell very well during any other time of the year other than Christmas. So if I had to describe this one, you'll see those pine cones that pop up around Christmas time that are cinnamon fragranced. That's exactly what this smells like to me, are those cinnamon pine cones. So definitely more of a Christmassy type scent. This is another new one that I just tried, got it in recently, vanilla cotton. I personally don't like plain cotton smells or the fresh linen fragrances. So I was hoping with this one being um, combined with the vanilla that it would be something that I would enjoy more than just the plain scents because I know a lot of people do request that for their vehicles. They want that very clean cotton, fresh linen type smell. And I have to say, I'm really pleased with this one. It definitely, it's not heavy on the vanilla and it's not overly sweet. It is still very, um, fresh laundered clothes type smell and this is probably the only one I will carry from from here on out I probably won't look for another fresh linen that I really like because I am so pleased with this one so if you're looking for a cotton or a fresh linen scent don't be scared of the vanilla that's added into this one because this one's actually really nice and would be one of my recommendations